Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, nomination. Today we're going to do some AR-15 bolt maintenance. And um, one of the problems we have is over gas. So it's been a while since I uh, checked my bolt and uh, do uh, some maintenance on it. And uh, one day I just, it just, I, I was just wondering why there's so much gas going in my face. So um, I took it out and uh, see what's the problem. And here what they have is a gym tech carrier with a, um, I forgot which company I got this from. It's a nickel born bolt. And uh, the way you check uh, to see that the bolt is uh, functioning properly is uh, you, you take it all the way out like this and uh, you place it on uh, a flat surface and just, just to see if it goes down or not. And in this case, this bolt is going down. As you can see, it's supposed to stay up like this and not uh, go down. So, and here is uh, same carrier, but a different uh, brand new BCM bolt. And we're gonna do the same test and it doesn't go down. The bolt doesn't go down, it stays there. It's a brand new bolt. So, um, well, I think the problem is uh, gas ring, so today we're going to replace the gas ring because it's worn out. Now I have, I believe i gone through uh, over 1,500 rounds on this bolt, and that's includes the press. And when you do a suppress fire, you can put a lot of uh, wear and tear on your bolt and your bolt carrier as well. So, uh, and that's why it's, uh, it, uh, I have to do maintenance uh, with uh, such a low round count because it's suppressed. So uh, let's uh, take this down and uh, see what's up. All right, to uh, take down the bolt carrier, take the, the pin and back, take it out. That will remove the firing pin. The firing pin, that will remove the firing pin. And then what you want here, okay, it's kind of, kind of stuck right now. Take the cam pin and uh, remember what position the cam pin is in. It's also smart if you take a, like a little bit of paint and you know, just uh, put a dot uh, on either side so that you know uh, which uh, side to reinstall it. But uh, from uh, from the look of it, there's uh, one side on my campaign is more worn out than the other side, so I know which uh, way. So let's take that out. Could be uh, a little bit difficult. Spin it around. You can do this by hand. Campaign's out. So when I reinstall, I need to install it this way. Start it back. Yep, it's time to clean it. Very dirty. Now you're gonna take out the bolt. Now, just to confirm, it's not this uh, bolt's problem. It might be the carrier problem because uh, of the uh, inner diameter. It might expand or whatnot. It could uh, cause a gas leakage. So I'm gonna take the bolt from uh, this carrier, uh, BCM bolt right here and uh, put it on to the other carrier just to confirm it. Putting uh, putting this bolt carrier inside the other bolt carrier just to confirm it's not the uh, bolt carrier's fault. Already I'm seeing a lot of uh, a like a really tight tension. Uh, th that means it's a good sign. Putting everything back on. Like I said, you know, if you put a little uh, paint dot, so you know ex which uh, position to uh, reinstall it. Okay, it uh, doesn't go down. Again, doesn't go down. Doesn't collapse onto itself. So uh, it is uh, this bolt is a problem. We'll see uh, the gas ring. Let you see how dirty the bolt is because I shoot suppress. You can put a, a lot of wear and tear onto the bolt. 
and I believe the both have uh, three flavor of metal. And you see how worn out that is? It's nickel born. And sometimes it's uh, better to have mil spec uh, bolt uh, when it comes to like coating. Uh, you don't want uh, any uh, coating that's too slick, especially for your extractor. So if you have a slick coating on your bolt, that's fine. But uh, for the extractor, I recommend you replace that with something that's not too slick because uh, it's a, it's an extractor, you know, it's a shell extractor. You don't want it to be too slick that it'll miss the shell and, uh, you know, cause a malfunction, uh, non-extracting shell. So, yeah. Uh, get an extractor that's not like a uh, very slick coating so you yeah, are very filthy to maintenance the bolt I don't recommend you uh, use like a really hard tool to scrape off any of the um, carbon uh, you can brush it off but uh, try not to scrape off any material because because uh, when you scrape off too much material uh, it could be out of spec and you end up having a lot of uh, gas issue and uh, sometimes even a uh, malfunction on your firearm so just uh, scraping enough that uh, it's, it's okay you know not not to uh, scrape the metal itself so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna take out the extractor and uh, see the spring to see if I need to replace the extractor I mean I'm gonna re replace the gas ring might as well you know look at everything and make sure everything is in uh, working order I don't want to uh, go to malfunction in uh, any way. Now to take out a tractor, you, know, you just need a roll pin. This is a 332 roll pin. You just push it out. There's a pin between the tractor and the bolt. Just push it out. There's a roll pin. It should be out. Just put that in safe place. Remove the extractor. And this extractor came with a rubber O-ring. So I think uh, it's time to replace all of those. And you see how filthy my bolt is. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to want to clean that and scrub it off also. Now, what I have here is an oldest bone tool. This is uh, used to clean the uh, bolt. And uh, what I have here is, uh, is uh, to clean your firing pin. Basically, you just uh, put this in and then twist it a couple of times. Now, uh, be careful because uh, there's a chance you might take out some material, so you don't want to overdo it. So just uh, lightly, uh, you know, scrub it. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, fouling. So yeah, slightly do it. And here to clean the firing pin. And on uh, this side, it's uh, used to clean your gas uh, port. As you can see how filthy, dirty it is. And now it's kind of shiny again. Also, if you have a whole bunch of fouling, under the lug itself, you can use this tool. It has all this uh, teeth that you can scrape out like this. You can use to clean all the fouling on the lug. But uh, I don't have any fouling. This is uh, nickel boring, so uh, there's not a lot of buildup. That's one uh, positive thing if you have uh, some sort of uh, slick coating, but that can also be a negative thing. We can't cover that in another video. 
So now I'm gonna apply some uh, Remington oil. I use this on uh, pretty much everything. And uh, yeah, just uh, scrub it using a good old brush. Now I bought this replacement part from uh, Brown Nails, I believe. It's a uh, AR Stoner parts, and uh, it's upon careful inspection, that's a little bit rust. So uh, I, I think it came from the extractor, and uh, not the other part. It came from the extractor. So AR Stoner is a no go in the future for me. Um, I think from now on I'm gonna get like a BCM or something like that or uh, arrow position because uh, you know they they do the, the coat the part properly and I treated uh, the part properly uh, just uh, rust right there but you know it works um, I think I'm going to use it to replace my uh, other extractor S upon carefully inspecting the extractor on my old boat it's kind of worn out a lot. So yeah, I'm going to replace that with the uh, rusty extractor, but uh, just going to have to clean it and uh, lube it and oil it. Hopefully it doesn't uh, further corrode. The old ring in black and the uh, new ring in uh, orange. The black one has been uh, worn out a bit so I'm uh, gonna replace that. This is for the uh, extractor. It goes into that slot right there. The round slot. Okay. Just to let you know the uh, new extractor on the left and the old one on the right. As you can see the old one it's kind of smoothed out, it's worn out a little bit, so might as well just uh, replace the extractor. But I'm not going to throw this away, I'm going to put this into the uh, used bin, just in case I need uh, an extra extractor for some reason. It's best just to buy a new one. Now my kit also came with the uh, ejectors cartridge pin and spring. I believe uh, that is uh, what it's called and that will replace replace it right here where you have to knock out the pin but I don't think it's necessary to do it it's not likely uh, that will break so I'm not going to change that out now a little tip for when uh, putting the extractor back on when you uh, push down the pin hold the extractor so there's not too much tension to it and then it could easily uh, go back on again so hold, hold it and put the pin back on now let's uh, remove the gas ring it is recommend that you have some sort of like a small tool then dental pick or a really uh, small blade or sometimes people use paper clip to do this it's easier if you uh, align it, align the gas ring, but uh, if, if not, that's okay. So what you do is just uh, take out the gas ring. It has a little gap, so just take that out, just like that. One is out. Take the other one out. 
you just pull it out you're not gonna reuse that so don't worry about damaging the gas ring now it's out and once out there's a whole bunch of fouling so do your best to take those fouling now Okay, on your left is a worn out gas ring and on your right is a brand new gas ring so I just uh, coated the uh, brand new gas ring with some uh, Remington oil and uh, cleaned it because uh, as you can see the extractor has some uh, rust issues so I want to clean every part with the uh, oil just to make sure the rust doesn't carry on I don't know if you can see this. Okay, we're gonna put the gas ring on. It doesn't matter which side. And you don't have to line up the gas ring either. It's a myth to uh, not to line it up. So do your best. One in and two more to go. It's better just to have the, uh, the first opening and then just push it in. Two in and last one to go. All right. Now you don't have to line up the uh, gas hole, but you know. If you have a ADD or something, then uh, you can separate it because this is a, a rotatable gas ring. It's not like a permanent, so it doesn't matter if you line it up or not. All right, so here's the other part. I clean it, but I didn't uh, deep clean it because, uh, yeah, if you kind of deep clean. This stuff, then uh, you should use a different solution. So it's uh, good enough for me. I mean, it's uh, really kicked on there, as you can see on the boat. But uh, this is not the boat that go into my main firearm, so it's just uh, something for the range. So it doesn't really matter to me. So let's put it back on. Uh, just uh, reverse the process. But I'm going to show you anyway. So put the boat back on. The extractor, I always uh, go outside near the logo is. And push it in. Already I am feeling the tension. So yeah, it's the gas ring that's causing a whole bunch of a gas problem. And then put the cam pin back on. Now remember that I told you to put it in the right way. So remember the position. If you don't remember, put a little paint on it. 
twist it the right, right way. Okay, so, uh, went in the correct position. And then uh, put the firing pin in. And then put the retaining pin in the firing pin. Firing pin, retaining pin. And you should be good. So let's test the uh, bow. Make sure it has the uh, right tension. Already I'm feeling a lot of tension. Perfect. Doesn't go down. Doesn't go down. No more gas leak. Another fun tip is you can buy this little Ziploc uh, from uh, Walmart. Uh, they have this on like a uh, pill section. So uh, yeah, put a little pouch. And then you can uh, label the pouch and put your parts in there. So you know exactly uh, what you're looking at. So here I have the uh, use extractor. But uh, everything else is new. Oh yeah. Also, you might be wondering why I use Gym Tech Carrier because uh, it has two modes, suppress and unsuppress mode. The S stands for suppress and the uh, U stands for unsuppress. So uh, at the range, if I'm firing suppress, I just have to turn that little, uh, that little lever on to suppress or unsuppress. Right now I don't have any tool, but uh, basically you get it. So yeah, I just have to turn it on. Sometimes it can be hard. So uh, yeah, I have to need like a little screwdriver or something. But that's okay because you know you don't uh, you will not accidentally turn it on to the mode that you want. Don't want. And I believe they uh, don't make this uh, bolt anymore, so it's kind of like a limited edition now. If you find it, you find it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, the downside of this uh, carrier is that it doesn't have a chrome line like uh, your, st your standard mill spec uh, carrier. It doesn't have a chrome lining. Uh, yeah, that's the only downside, but uh, it's okay. You know, I've, I've used it for so long. I don't have any problem with it. Okay, I hope you guys learned something new from this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, spread the word. And remember, if anybody asks you about your arm, tell them no, your arm AF. Peace out.